Hello, I'm William A. Fields, uh, Executive Director of the Mount Pleasant Preservation Society and Corporate Museum. If you were to come to Marion, Virginia, um, you'd have to make it a point to stop by Sally's Crying Tree. Sally's Crying Tree tells the story of our founder's grandmother, and uh, who was a slave. I used to tell students this story about her grandmother, and, and, and I would begin by telling that two words people often use in their life, love and friendship. Most people fail to realize the definition of the word and the depth of both, definition of both of the words. Uh, and uh, my belief is that if you have um, ever loved someone, regardless of what they do or don't do, you'll always love them. If you ever have a true friend, you'll always, a, time, a thousand years could go by, they walk through the door, it's like time stood still. Well, this little girl, five years old, and I asked folks, you, you remember when you were five years old? Some people believe yes and others not, you know? But I say, imagine you're five years old. This little girl woke up one morning, it's a beautiful day and everything was fine in her world. And, but that day, she learned the definition of the word slave and what it meant to be a slave because the people that owned her family decided they was gonna take them down and, to the courthouse and uh, sell them on the auction block and they did. And she never uh, saw her mom and dad ever again. She was kept to be a body servant for a rich man's wife. My understanding, she had to sleep on the floor, a pallet on the floor, whatever that woman needed, that she had to provide and take care of. And we all sometimes, as I suggest that folks, um, if things are coming down on us in life, if we have a lot coming down, we may have a, a special place that we can go to when we can get there to, to regroup and, and get our thoughts and feelings together. Well, she, when she could get away from her duties as a slave, she would go up on top of this hill. There was a little tree up on the hill behind the house and she'd go up there and she'd grab hold of the tree. Maybe she'd talk to the tree like it was her mother and dad, but she never, cause she never saw them again. Maybe she prayed there, maybe she cried there. And like that tree, she had to weather a lot of storms. She didn't have it easy. And she had a vision for herself that if she ever got her freedom, you know, and she ever had any children, she's gonna make sure they got an education. And Civil War came, Emancipation Proclamation, she got her freedom. Later on, got married, had 10 children, sent two of her daughters to college. One of them became a teacher in respect to, and taught in the one-room schoolhouses in this area. And um, her granddaughter likewise became a teacher. That's our founder, my first grade teacher. Evelyn Thompson Lawrence. And again, she had the vision of establishing this place.